Hello and welcome back to the Jordi Pig Investor channel. Today I'm going to do my March portfolio update on my Invest Engine account, show you through all my Invest Engine investments and all the ETFs that I currently hold in this account. So I've had a really, really good month as you can see right now on here. I currently have £100 in cash, which is what I'm going to be putting in every single month from now on. So it's going to be investing £100 per month into here. And we're going to hopefully see that money grow. You can see I have a Factor ETF and Chill self managed fund. And this is where all of my investments are in my Invest Engine account. So over the last month, if we click onto it, we can see that I started the month off with £592. And I've ended the month on £766. So over the last month, we've actually returned over 4% profit being up over £23, which I'm really happy with. And um, we actually added two new positions over the last month into my Invest Engine account, which I will go through with you now. Before we get onto that, I just want to show that I actually contributed £150 this month. Um, and it was the last month that I will contribute that amount because I had £100 from last month to invest. And then I also had £50 spare. So I thought, why not put it all in for this month before the new tax year starts? And then we can run for £100 into the new ISA version of the Invest Engine account that I'll be using from April because from April onwards, you can have as many ISA accounts as you want. So rather than putting this money into a general investing account as my main ISA is currently with Trading212, I can have two ISA accounts. So I will remain with my Trading212 ISA, which is my main portfolio. And then I can also change this account into an ISA account on here. So yeah, I invested 150 pound this month. You can see, that the portfolio costs me 0.3% to manage and management fees. And if we scroll down, you can see the different stocks that I am invested in and the returns I received over the last month. So my two new positions are the UBS Factor MSCI World USA Quality ESG ETF, which is also known ticker symbol UC99. And the second position I added this month was the Franklin FTSE India, ticker symbol F-R-I-N. Both of these positions are up quite a nice percent actually, being up 1.42% over the last month since I bought in. And then the Franklin FTSE India is actually up 2.5%, but because I've only just added it, I have such a small position, so I'm only actually up 37 pence, unfortunately, in that position. The reason for adding these is because I wanted to diverse out of my MSCI World Emerging Markets Fund as I believe that it has got some good markets in there, but I would prefer a little bit more of a heavier weighting towards India. Hence why I've actually added in a FTSE India tracker. And this means that I'm still getting my exposure to the emerging markets, but I'm also going to get a slightly heavier exposure towards India. So now I'm getting exposure still to both. So I've split my percentage between the two and I'm going to have 4% in each of these positions. I then have the Xtrackers MSCI World Value, which is now sitting at an 8% share of the portfolio. I have MSCI World Quality, which is going to be 10%. I have the S&P Small Cap at 12%. The Xtrackers MSCI World Momentum at 12%. And then I've put a bigger weighting towards this new position in the UC99 UBS Factor MSCI USA Quality ETF, as I want that to be about 20%. And then the wisdom tree I have reduced down from 35 to 30 percent um, just so that I can have that slightly bigger position in the UC99. So this position here is obviously very low at the minute at 4.7 percent. So my monthly contributions I'm probably going to focus on bringing that position up to get it close to that 20 percent mark and um, before I then start contributing evenly across all of my positions. So like I say over the last month you can see every single position is actually in the green, which is so good to see again. Um, my best performer being the X-Trackers MSCI World Value at over 5.3%, closely followed behind by the MSCI World Momentum, returning me over 5% in one month. So that's really, really good returns, guys, and something that you don't want to be missing out on. Um, so you should do your research and have a look into all of these stocks, as overall, these are performing so well for myself. So like I say, up over the last month, I am now up 4%. And overall, this puts me now a net total of up over 16%. And I'm up over £67. So and I'm just going to continue adding to each of them um, every single month, putting that £100 in, staying consistent with it, and hopefully reaping the rewards. You can see the overall percentages on the returns since I first opened the account. 
with, with the best performer by quite some margin at the minute being the MSCI World Momentum Tracker. Um, obviously due to a couple of rather big stocks like the likes of NVIDIA who's been performing so well lately and also Meta Platforms which is also the second biggest position in this portfolio. So you can see those two have massive weightings in it and obviously have performed so well this year so far year to date. Look at that up over 155% since starting. You can see where I bought in mainly, and you can see that um, even when I'm buying up towards all-time highs, it just keeps creeping even higher. So guys, never be afraid to buy all-time highs as the stock market's always likely to keep pushing past those highs eventually. It's quite nice on here actually on Invest Engine. If you click across to analytics, you can actually see the breakdown of all of my portfolio and you can see the regions that all of them come from. So you can see that I'm quite heavily invested in North America right now as it is at 58% of the portfolio. Europe excluding UK is at 15%. Japan at 7.5%. Emerging markets just under 5%, similar to the UK. Then we have Asia excluding Japan at 3.5% and the rest of the world sitting at 3.6%. I've got no money invested in bonds, alternatives and quite a small cash position as of right now. So I'm really happy with the portfolio so far. This is just my quick update on here. I'll be continuing to do these updates every single month so we can see how the portfolio performs. But on a month to month basis, I've only had this portfolio for about six months. And as you can see, it's performing very, very well so far. So if you wanna have a look into factory ETFs, I would definitely recommend doing so because as you can see, they're all performing very well and I'm really happy with these positions. If you'd like to see some more informative videos breaking down each of my positions and why I'm investing that percentage into each of my ETF positions, then let me know in the comment section down below and I can do some more in-depth videos on each position. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and this is the Geordie Pig Investor over and out.